My team and I decided to build an IoT coffee machine that sends data to Salesforce. Salesforce live events are finally back after COVID and there's one happening next month in my city of Prague. So during this event, each partner company gets to showcase something that they're working on, talk about their services, products, and in general, Salesforce. So when I was asked at work to work on this project, I was very thrilled. And this is still an ongoing project, but I thought I would share the status of the project since I think it's super cool and geeky. So these events are besides Salesforce's Dreamforce that happens every year in California around September, October, like Apple's keynote. And Salesforce hasn't been hosting any live events since COVID. And during these Salesforce live events, all the partner companies come together and each of the company gets a booth and there will be speakers from both sides to talk about their new products and services. Our idea was to showcase something very cool during the event. So the goal of the project wasn't necessarily to showcase Salesforce capability, but to have something uh, very interesting in our booth. So we wanted to build an IoT machine that sends data to Salesforce. We decided to work on this coffee machine that has four different tubes and each tube takes uh, an espresso coffee. We had four different types of coffees, which is Ristarito, Caramelito, Arpeggio, and Livando. And these tubes are connected to a Raspberry Pi, which has eight ultrasonic sensors. So if you don't know how an ultrasonic sensor works, it basically calculates the distance by calculating the time it takes for the sound wave to go back and forth. We ran a Python script on the Raspberry Pi in which we had a few constants like the length of the tube and uh, length of each capsule so we can calculate depending on the distance remaining in the tube how many coffee cups are remaining each tube had two ultrasonic sensors so total eight sensors two on each of the tubes so to make it more even interesting we created a user for this raspberry pi in salesforce org and we signed into this specific org using raspberry pi's terminal each 15 second it sends the data about the remaining number of capsules in each of these tubes and with this incoming data in Salesforce we get to do some uh, cool stuff so using this data we can uh, have some dashboards and charts and uh, reports uh, so for example right now we have a dashboard which shows uh, what are the remaining number of capsules in each coffee type or each tube we can see the overall consumption over the past one month we can also do some cool stuff like uh, what is the most popular coffee what is the least popular coffee and we also plan to do some interesting automation stuff like when the, the coffee is over in a specific tube or all the tube we can have some automated email or automated notification pop-up so we plan to do all of this and at the moment the tube is not even connected to the coffee machine so this is just a general idea what we can do and if you were to connect this tube in straight into coffee machine this can be potentially a, a real life scenario if someone wants it this is an ongoing project and we plan to create more dashboards and reports uh, something that makes more sense in order to showcase during the event and i plan to uh, update you all on this how it goes what is the final project looks like we probably won't connect it straight to the coffee machine because uh, there is a lot of limitation with the coffee machine we have and the size of the tube we have but this is possible because we we proved it uh, if we were to connect the tube straight to the coffee machine and we figure out a way how to get the capsule into the machine this is definitely possible but uh, probably we won't do that but uh, this is something cool you can do what we plan to do is create some cool dashboards and reports and analytics using the data that's coming to Salesforce for the event so the project is still very much a work in progress and I plan to keep you all updated on how it goes as it gets closer to the event or maybe even after the event so stay subscribed to watch the second part of this video and if you have already thanks for watching and i will talk to you all next week cheers